Go ahead. All right. There are five other qualified nominees for this award. So tell us why you stand out amongst that group, both on and off the field. Kemper Catholic senior quarterback Cole Neary was named the captain of the Class 2A football team due to his remarkable 2013 season. Neary was a three-year starter at quarterback for Kemper Catholic and capped his career with a stellar senior season in which he threw for 3,113 yards and 39 touchdowns against just six interceptions, leading Kemper to its first state championship. Neary also rushed for 276 yards and nine touchdowns. His 3,389 total yards of offense were most in the state by more than 500 yards, and his 48 total touchdowns were also best in the state. Off the field, Neary put up similar impressive numbers. He boasts a 4.26 grade point average, is a top 10 honor student, and a two-year member of the National Honor Society. His exploits on and off the field can best be described by him Ed Thomas, Mr. Football Award nominee, Cole Neary. How do you define character? Um, character is, uh, defines who you are as a person and what you believe in in life. And through your character, you can express your responsibility and um, respect, caring, um, and their attitudes towards others and all the other things that come into the little aspects of life. And, but to develop your character, it starts with the little things when nobody's watching and in those small decisions you have to make. And the more you make the right decisions, it's going to become a second nature or more of a habit to keep making those right decisions. But your true character is really tested in the toughest decisions you have to make in life. And how you respond to those will really tell who you really are as a person. What are the most important things in your life? The most important things in my life uh, have to be my faith, uh, my family, and then my academics and athletics. Uh, my faith, first of all, guides me to who I really am today. Um, it's nice always having that higher power to thank for your blessings and to turn to in tough times and even in bright times and know someone's always there for you. Um, my family is kind of the same way. They're always there for me and I can trust that they will always be there for me. I have such close relationships with everyone in my family and knowing that and knowing I have their support is really a confidence booster in life. Um, education is very important to me because it will guide me to where I want to get to in life and help me be successful in the areas I want to continue on in life. And athletics is important to me because I've made so many great friendshi friendships uh, through the games I have played and those will last with me for a lifetime and it also has taught me um, great teamwork skills that will carry on into workforce later and throughout life and all of that was while playing the game I love to do. Explain to us how you have been able to balance your academics, athletics, and community activities and still have time to be a young adult. I think I've been able to balance everything in my schedule together uh, through time management and organization. It's very important to me to keep an agenda and to have that organization of when things have to be done and when are due, they're due, but working hard at those to accomplish them on time allows me to still be a young adult and still have the times to be with my friends and be with my family. Um, but also I think the athletics part of it contributes into the part of me being a young adult because I love, every day I love going to the practices, um, spending time with, I mean, my teammates are also my best friends. Um, so I think a lot of that is still being a part of a young adult and being a part of the athletics. Tell us about the three most influential people in your life and how, how they have shaped the person you are today. Um, the three most influential people in my life have to be my grandma Neary, uh, my father and my brother. Uh, my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in January of my seventh grade year and was told she had about six months to live and I've never seen someone so positive and never say a negative word about what she had and she was always including family and always involving us in her lives but never said anything bad about it and one instance we we would visit her every weekend throughout that time and 
um, we were going and we were saying our goodbyes and we didn't know if they'd be our last goodbyes and everyone was crying and she looked at us and said, buck up guys, I mean, this is what God's plan is, this is how it's supposed to be. And I think that's very inspiring. So she has been a role model through me in my faith, um, my family, and even in my character. I mean, my faith, she tells me, I mean, it's God's plan and whatever God calls for you, it's what's going to happen. Um, she always included family and taught me the importance of family in my life. And her character, I mean, she included everyone, she was nice to everyone, she never said a bad thing about anyone. So it really inspires me to live a life like she did. Uh, my father is a great role model for me as well. Um, he's worked hard and is determined in everything he does to do it the right way. Um, the way he is involved in all of our lives, my brothers and my sisters, and the way he treats my mom is outstanding. And it's a perfect role model for me and how I want to live my life. Um, I want to be successful because he has done so many great things for me and has worked hard in order to get to where he is, where it drives me to work just as hard as he has in order to be that person he was. And then my brother follows the aspects of my dad. Um, he didn't play any sports in high school or do any of that. He worked all the time, but that's what he loved to do. Um, and everything he got, he deserved. Uh, he's a senior in college right now, and he's working hard to become a, in the golf management uh, area of business and he has a career out in Colorado and he works all the time and he's inspired to do that and he loves to do it and so I think he influences me to be a person like him and do what I want to do but work towards that because it will all pay off. What roles do faith and family play in your everyday life? Faith and family play major roles in my everyday life. Um, to start off with faith, going to a Catholic, educa uh, Catholic school and having a Catholic education allows me to strengthen my faith every day and in my character every day because I'm surrounded with the people who really care about me and care about uh, the success that you're going to have um, and have the same values as you. Um, and another example of faith in my life is every day I pray the serenity prayer which goes like, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. And it helps me realize that there's things in life that God has planned for you that might not be the things you want, um, but that's the way it is, and how are you going to respond to that? And then having courage to change the things that you can and be able to make yourself a better person, make your community a better community, and then having that wisdom to know the difference between the right and wrongs and what God has planned for you and what you can change um, all plays a role and that's all faith in how I respond to life. Um, my family plays a huge role that they're always there for me, they're always involved. It's amazing to go home every night and have parents who love and support you um, and can cook you dinners every night and I can trust that they will always be there for me in tough times and good times, be there to celebrate with me, but be there to mourn with me um, and that's just an amazing feeling and I know they'll be there for me and I'll be there for them when they need help too. Out of all the accomplishments you listed on the application for this award, pick one that stands above all the others and explain why it means so much to you. I think the application that stands out the most um, was the I Dare You Award that I won my junior year at Awards Day. Uh, this award was nominated by the faculty and staff at Kemper to two juniors who excelled in character and in leadership throughout that year and it challenges them to take on that role of leadership into their senior year and be a role model for not only your class but for the entire high school. Um, this award meant a lot to me because um, it, it showed me that I am that leader that I want to be and that role model that I wanted to be and it was recognized by the faculty and staff. Even successful football seasons like the one your team just finished have trying times. Talk about one specific time last year, the lowest point in the season, and how you and your teammates worked through it. The lowest point in our season this year would have been after our Jefferson game. Uh, fifth game into the season, we won 33 to nothing, but everyone took it as a loss uh, for us. Throughout the game, players were arguing with each other um, what was right, what was wrong. Uh, people were questioning the coaches' calls, and in practice that Monday, we had a film session where we didn't watch really many much film, but we evaluated ourselves, and we learned that we're way farther than where we were previous years, and that we can get and do big things as long as we work together and work hard for it. 
And I think that week of practice, we had the best week of practice we've ever had because we realized that what we can do, but what we can do, we have to do it for each other and with each other instead of being selfish. Think ahead for a few minutes. When you return to Kemper Catholic for your 20th high school reunion, what do you believe the school staff and classmates who are not your close friends are going to remember you for? I believe the, my classmates and the staff would think of me as a hard worker um, in the classroom and on the sports fields. Um, all four years of high school I was a top 10 student and I was a three-year starter on the football um, as a quarterback and a three-year starter on the basketball court. But I worked for everything I did. Uh, I studied hard and practiced hard and everything and I think they see that in me. Um, they would also see me as a friendly person. I'll take the time out of days and talk to friends that I usually don't to and include everyone in things. When I see someone by themselves, I'll include them in our groups and include everyone. So I think they'll see me as a friendly person as well. Choose a teacher that knows you well as a student. How would they describe you? Um, I'd probably choose Mr. Kane, my math teacher. Um, I've had him for three years and his class is usually exceptionally hard. Um, he would describe me as a leader in the classroom and a hardworking student who always wants to improve himself uh, to be successful. Um, many times throughout his class I won't understand what I'm doing, but I'm always paying attention and always full focus to what he's teaching us uh, to help me understand. But there's times where I'll have to go in and get that extra help outside of class and he sees that in me and always wanting to improve. And then on the leadership side, just leading by example in his class, paying attention, um, responding when he asks questions. Um, so I think he would see me as that hard worker and a leader in the classroom. What do you feel are the qualities that made Coach Ed Thomas so highly respected in the state? Coach Thomas was highly respected in the state and even in the nation. Um, he had many great accomplishments. Uh, he won 292 football games, uh, two state championships, sent four players to the NFL, and was inducted as the National Coach of the Year by the NFL. Uh, but that's not what people are going to remember him for. Uh, as a football coach, he was able to develop his players into young men of great character, and that's what he focused on. Uh, he had a quote in his book that said, uh, if all I do as a head coach is teach my players the X's and O's of the games, then I have failed to do my job. And he was really a great leader, a uh, father figure, and a friend, and a coach to his players and to his community. Um, everything he did was for somebody else um, and had a po positive influence in his community. And that's what people are going to remember him for. Tell us a reason why we should not choose you for this award. One reason. Um, I'm not deserving of this award would be uh, Coach Ed Thomas was so highly influential in everyone's lives that I'm nowhere close to his standards yet and um, he set the bar so high that it's going to be very difficult to reach up to his standards and although that is a goal in my life um, I'm not deserving of winning an award in his name because of that reason. Um, also this award gives up individual attention and all of my accomplishments have been because of the people I surround myself and the people on my team allowing me to work hard and allowing us to have those accomplishments that we have. There are five other qualified nominees for this award, so tell us why you stand out amongst that group both on and off the field. All five candidates for this award have proven themselves that they're athletes on the football field and obviously they're deserving of this award. But I think I stand out um, from the others because I'm a leader, show good character on the field, off the field, in the classroom, and in the community, and with my faith. Um, on the field, I'm that leader, and being a quarterback, everyone kind of looks onto your shoulders, and the way you act influences how other people are going to act on the field. Um, so I'm a positive leader by working hard, leading by example, and everyone's going to follow my role. Um, I study the game to improve myself and to improve my team, and I think my teammates see that. Um, in the classroom, I'm always working hard to get those good grades to get to where I want to be in life because that's so important to me. Um, in the community, I, I recognize the little kids in our schools uh, look up so much to high school athletes and I'll go out of my way and say hi to them because I know it means so much to them and to the others. And I've re received many letters from parents just thanking me for that 
and saying how much great of a role model I am to their students. Um, and then my faith uh, plays a big role in my life and shapes who I am today um, because, you know, it's, that's really all it's about is believing in God and believing in His ways and they will guide you to where you need to be in life. Um, this award would be a great honor to win um, and I believe everyone is deserving of this award. Uh, so I thank you for the opportunity to pre be presented this award and I hope you choose me.